on desert plants of Avalon in the north of Ireland. And in today's video, I'll be talking to you about how you can use copper wire barrier tape to prevent snails and slugs on your cactus and also your succulents as well. Now, this is the product here. This is a brand by Pet Shield, but there's many different types of brands. And what copper wire is, it's actually a special type of barrier tape, look a little bit like normal type of tape, cellar tape, that contains copper. And it, what happens is when you put it around the pots of your plants, and this is for garden plants as well, and even house plants, because you know, get slugs and snails in the house as well. It actually gives off a very tiny electric current that puts off snails and slugs. And uh, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've encountered a few slugs on my cactus ceilings. I'm just going to show you here. These are my um, Trichoceria ceilings that I sown in 2018. And look at that, guys. They were growing really, really well. I have them here in our greenhouse with all our other type of tall, serious cactus plants. And they were thriving. We've had some amazing weather here the past week or so. And then I got up this morning and I saw this and I was like, oh no. As you can see here, there's a big hole right through the growing tip and quite far down. And on here, they've just took the slugs or the snails, whichever one it is, a big piece off the top. And because I've attacked the growing tip, it's particularly annoying because this is where the obviously the, the new growth comes from. The only good thing about slugs and snails is although they can do a lot of damage, unlike other types of pests such as mealybugs and other, other annoying insect pests, they although they give off this slime, they don't the, the slime itself isn't doesn't cause viruses and things like that like a lot of other bugs can spread so it will callous over this has obviously happened during the night but it's calloused over already and exhibit of the slime that's left behind there and the hole all the way through is calloused over i might slice this top bit off and then it, that will callous and it, and this these trichoceros will side shoot but it's still annoying i don't want this happening to my lovely seedlings and i've used this barrier tape before in the past when i lived in the south of Ireland, and it's absolutely brilliant Brilliant. I haven't really had to use it here, but I'm going to be doing it now and putting on putting it onto my other seedlings, these two healthy ones that haven't been attacked. So I'm going to put this barrier wire on all four of them. I'm going to show you how it's done. Now, what you want to make sure is obviously you only need to put the strip going across as in this here as you can see and as i say it's going to act as a little bit of electrical barrier to prevent them and you might just say to me well why don't you just put slug and snail pellets down get rid of them well i actually think slug pellets are actually very inhumane and if there's a cruelty free way of of eliminating slugs and snails as much as possible without harming them then that's what i prefer to do it's just just something i prefer to do i don't like to kill them and if i do find slugs and snails in the greenhouse and polytunnel i always pick them off and take them as far away as i can to another part of i usually put them into a little bucket and take them up the road and put them into a little forest and that i know i'm sad but just the way i am i don't like to harm them so this is a great cruelty free way of getting rid of slugs and snails preventing them more so without damaging your plants so now i'm going to show you how i'm going to be doing it now this is the tape here and what you want to do is you just want to put this going around just below the um the main part of the pot there and just enough to overlap it as well so you're not leaving any gaps and very easy to do you make sure first of all that you've got enough tape so in this case i'm going to cut it there And then carefully um, peel off the, the back of it here. And just put just below the, the main topper part of the pot. Going around and you want to make sure you've got enough then just to overlap it. And that's all you have to do. And uh, that's that one done. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all done. Now that's them all done with a copper barrier tape all around them. So that's going to keep them slugs and snails away. Hopefully you won't see any more holes being taken out of my beloved cactus seedlings. And if you want to know where to get this copper wire from, well, I got this from a, a place called Poundland here in uh, Northern Ireland. But I'm pretty sure that Dollarland and garden centres as well as Amazon will have this. So do check it out. And I hope that you found this video useful and you know how to prevent slugs and snails on your beloved cacti and succulent plants you can also use it on garden plants as well around the pots 
So thank you so much for watching everybody and for lots more tips and tricks on how you can care for and grow cacti and succulents then please do subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell. Lots of articles on caring and growing for cacti and succulents as well. Please do check out my website desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all an amazing plant powered day.